Me too. Right after mm -hmm. interview. Yeah. 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 That's me. Are you guys good to go then? You're good to go. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. okay. And just open the door when it's finished. Or we'll come tell you. Great. Okay. So work experience. What's your work experience like? <laughs> so, I'm, are you working right now? Yeah, I am. I work part time. Okay. What do you do? For Apple, I'm a technical advisor, so like I answer phone calls and stuff. No way. Yeah. So you can actually help me with some Apple stuff. Yeah. If I have <laughs> if you need me yeah. my help, yeah. That's cool. Um, what do you do? Oh, I'm just studying. Okay. Cool. Student. Have you had any work experience in the past? No. No. No work. No. What about you? <clears throat> I work like my my first job I got when I was eight it was paper out. I had that for eight years. Cool. <laughs> a long time. Yeah, it was. Um, I'm not working right now. I actually quit my job at the beginning of the semester so that I could just focus on school. And I'm lucky enough that my, my wife works full time and she's graduated, so kind of. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it is really nice not to have to worry about that. But um, of course, the stress is of trying to find a job after graduation or. Yeah. And you actually like need a job and you don't have another excuse like oh, I'm going to school <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I think I'd rather go to school the rest of my life than <laughs> than have to work. I know so, I would. Yeah. yeah, but before before I quit, I was working at Clearlink. If you've heard of that, it's just a call center out by the airport, and we just set up phone services like Verizon and AT and T, oh, okay. internet and TV and things like that. So, cool. yeah. <clears throat> what about TV shows? I do not watch a lot of TV really? right now. Yeah, like I just don't have time to sit down and watch TV shows. But I like like The Office. That's like yeah. probably I would say my favorite TV show. Yeah, that I used to watch. Um, I don't know. What about you guys? Uh, I like all shows about the vampire. <laughs> <laughs> vampire. <laughs> So like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh huh. And uh, the the most recently I saw is a Vampire Diaries. Okay. Yeah, I like that show. So that's a show, not a movie. That's a show. Yeah, that's a TV show. Right now it's a movie. Oh okay. Vampire Diaries is a show. Is it like on? Is it still running? Yeah, it's maybe it's five. It's the fifth season. Okay. Huh. Are they gonna keep going? Yeah. Really? People like it. I don't know. I never watched the vampire shows, so. Oh. Yeah. The only vampire related thing I've seen is Twilight. I was gonna say, I think I saw the first Twilight, but. Yeah. Sounds fun. My wife and I went to the last one, and I actually. The vampire fight? And that, do, you, do you like Twilight then? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The vampire fight where they're like ripping each other's heads off was so cool, I thought. I haven't seen that one. Mm -hmm. It was like a big battle. I really liked it. Um, I'm I'm same as you. I don't really watch. We don't even have a TV. Like we have a TV that we just watch movies on, but we don't yeah. play Comcast or anything. Um, but I think my favorite show of all time is Seinfeld. I think I could watch those all day. You know. Yeah, I've seen a few of those. They're funny. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever seen Seinfeld? <laughs> <laughs> I just like comedies mostly, like things that make me laugh, I think it's relax. Have you seen, um, it's a newer one, it's like about a football, like the whole premise of the show is like they get together and it's like a, what do they call it, fantasy football leagues. Oh, okay. And it's, yeah. have you heard about that show? I think it's called The League, but I walked in and my roommate was watching it and I watched the episode with him and it was pretty funny, like, really? like it's just funny because like one's like a defense attorney and the one's like a was a, another attorney and they were in the same case but they're in the same football league and they're like oh you know give your guy like I'll put less charges you know if you trade me this guy so it's like you know just <laughs> stupid like stuff like real that, world real world situations but then they're trading for fantasy <laughs> football players like, that's so funny so yeah I thought that was pretty funny but it's called the league yeah the league okay. I think it's like on second season or something but it's on Netflix, Netflix so you have Netflix yeah so. for sure yeah yeah, every once in a while I'll just kind of click on a show just to see what it's like. And the one that kind of hooked me was Parks and Rec. Oh, I love that cake. It is so good. I forgot that. I went right through that this summer like, <laughs> from start to season five. It is so funny. It's like The Office. Yeah, it's similar, yeah, it's kind of filmed. It's got the like same that. characters in some of them. But yeah. yeah, I love that one. 
Thank you. Yeah, way good. All right, what about your hometown? Where are you from? Uh, China. China? <laughs> <laughs> and what part? Uh, on the east part. Okay. Uh, it's near Shanghai. Do you know Shanghai? Yes. I'm taking geography of China, so oh, I'm learning really? this stuff. Yeah. I was going to take that class, but yeah, I, mean, I didn't end up taking it. It's like you learn a lot, but it's like the teacher, I, I don't know, it's not really like an interactive, fun class. It's more just like, here's the information, learn it. But, mm. but it's still good, but yeah. Good to know. What's the point in a business school? Why is that important to learn the geography of China? It's because China's like the biggest market right now. And <laughs> the biggest economy soon, but so I think that's really why it was. I guess so, that makes sense. And there are a lot of students from China mm -hmm. at the yeah. University of Utah, yeah. for sure. It's kind of cool how many there are. <laughs> but did you come over with friends, or did uh, you have friends that came over with you? No, 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 I just came here by myself, and uh, but I knew a lot of friends here. Oh, you did? Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you know a lot of friends here? Uh, like. Uh, cost the first semester I live in in Dongtu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all the neighbors I can talk to them. And gotcha. Uh, so you make friends. That's good. <laughs> are most of your friends Chinese here, or all of them Chinese? Um, most of them are Chinese, <laughs> and uh, some are Korean and uh, some are American. Oh, cool. That's cool. Okay. Um, home. This is my hometown. Salt Lake. Oh, you're from Salt Lake? Yeah. What about you? I'm from Mapleton, which is like 15 minutes away from Provo, so oh, okay. it's like basically Utah, kind of same thing, but... What direction from Provo? It's south. Okay. Like Provo, then Springville, Mapleton. So it's basically yeah. in the Utah Valley? Yeah, it's in the Utah Valley, yeah. Cool. Yeah, but that's where I'm from, so... Alright, should we talk about travel? Yeah, let's talk about travel. I wanted to hear more about China. <laughs> like, do you miss it? A little bit, yeah. cause like the Shanghai is uh, most like the New York here. Like, lots of people oh, okay. and uh, noisy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I like I like Salt Lake cause it's uh, it's so peaceful. <laughs> right. It's a little more quiet and open. Yeah. Than like Shanghai or New and, York. Uh, there's not so many traffic and uh, there's not so many people here. So right. and uh, also like in the winter uh, we can skiing and uh, summer we can climbing or camping. Like yeah. it's nice. So. Mm -hmm. It is nice. So are you here all year round? Yeah. And are you gonna be here for how much longer? Uh, I already be here for two years and. Uh, Maybe one year later I will graduate. Okay. And then come back to China. And you'll go back to China. Yeah. Okay. Is there a possibility that you'll stay here in America? Maybe I want to try to work here. Okay. Yeah, if if I have a chance. That's cool. Huh. And you have family back in China? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do you travel? Like when you were in China, did you travel a lot around China? Like. Uh, not so much. In China. I just go to the like Beijing, okay. and, uh, Shanghai. Mm. There's all big cities. Okay. Uh, not so often. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't do a lot of traveling. I wish I did, but like the coolest place I've been was Alaska in the oh, last yeah. year. And then I other than to go. yeah, it's it was really fun. But other than that, like just go like. Yellowstone or California, you know, it's about like the extent. <laughs> I guess I've been to DC oh, cool. once. Oh. I've been there twice, but that's that's it. So yeah, that's cool. Not very much. What'd you do up in Alaska? We just went up there and went fishing for like we went up there for like two weeks, and one week was just like fishing some of it salmon, and then some of it halibut, and then the next week we just like. Around. In rivers and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just in the rivers. And then the halibut was in the ocean, so. Wow. It was really fun. Like, I liked it a lot. I'd go back again if I could. I would love to go to Alaska. There's something about Alaska that just seems big and, like, just it's huge. Yeah. Fun. Like, did you see any bears? 
Yeah, it was weird because like we like wanted to go like find a bear, you know, like just go look for one and stuff. We never found one, but then one day we were driving in through, I mean, it's not like a big city, it's not like Shanghai or anything, or even Salt Lake, it's just like a little town, Homer, Alaska, Homer, and Homer. yeah, and we're driving through like the little neighborhood, and like a bear and two cubs come running across the street, no <laughs> so we're like, we're in the city, and we see the bear there, no but then, way. yeah, and also then when we flew, um, when we took a plane ride, we went out across like the inlet or whatever, and landed on the beach, and like, I guess this is one spot where bears like dig for clams and so there's a bunch of bears okay. out there and so like we walked up to them and stuff and I guess there's like there's like when we're flying over there's like two other planes so it's like a tourist kind of thing like you okay. fly in and go look at the bears look at the bears clams. Clams. <laughs> so it was cool like we were really close to it and stuff so that was like that was too that'd be so sweet were they the Alaskan brown bear I uh, just yeah they were big. I think they because they're it was huge on, they yeah it was on the island they were big yeah and it was so weird too because like so there was so many of them like like they were really spread out along the beach but you could see a long ways and so like you'd see like one bear and some people and then a little ways weird. down like another one and people and then another one and another one and like when you're flying over we probably saw like 15 or so just flying over on that stretch of beach. That's crazy. So it was like really cool. And that's not like a hazard to people? You said well, people, people were close? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. When we got out of the plane, I was like, wait, does anyone have, like, a gun or something, Seriously? you know? And the pilot's like, no, like, we don't need a gun. And I was like, okay. But then later he told us that he has, like, a flare gun kind of thing, and they're more scared of that than they would be a real gun, is what he said. Okay. But, so, I mean, they could have been protected, I guess. I don't know. Wow. But, that's insane. That's it, cool. It was cool, yeah. Good experience. So, <clears throat> I'm traveling. I haven't, like, been... A lot of places. I, I served an LDS mission in the Czech Republic, which was cool, just Eastern Europe for two years. Um, other than that, I've done a fair amount of traveling around the States, kind of like you, just, you know, California. I did do a road trip right after I graduated high school with two friends. We went around America. We went up, you know, to, to New York by the Great Lakes, up to New York, and then down to Florida, and through the south, and then back up to Salt Lake, which was awesome. Oh, that is cool. It was fun, it took a month, but it was so much fun. Um, and then, the only other time I've been out of the country is this uh, last August, so, like, I got back like three weeks ago, and, um, yeah, like, I guess I'm, actually, yeah, like, less than three weeks ago, um, to Ghana. My wife and I went to Ghana for a month. That's cool. That was, just it was like a lot of fun. for service. Or? Yeah, we went to volunteers in the orphanage, and she'd done it a few times um, before we got married, and so that was kind of our goal and dream to go together. And so at our year mark, we we went to Ghana. Oh, dang it. So it was cool. That's fun. Yeah. Way expensive, but way. Fun. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Africa. Would be the coolest idea yeah. to go to. But I know. I like that. Like gave me the bug, I just want to go back now to Africa. We were planning like a European trip next year, and we're like, should we just go to Africa? <laughs> so, uh, I want to ask you guys this, like, what's the number one spot that you would want to go to see? Like, that's a good could. question. Mm, where would we go? Maybe in China, because it's Tibet. Oh, in Tibet? Yeah. Oh, Tibet, that's cool. Why do you want to go there? Uh, cross, uh, People, people there are like a spiritual. Like, like yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, like ethnically different kind of maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that what you're 